Hey y'all, hey. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. What is happening? Facebook. Oh, Lord, what is happening? Instagram. Yes, yes, yes. It is Thursday. It is Thursday evening, and this is my script cap because I'm still at the office. You know, Thursdays are our late days. Late literally means late. So for those of you who don't know, I'm Dr. Joy Fremont. And I am Miss Dr. Lady, and I am here in Atlanta live because, yes, we are still at the office. We work late nights on Thursdays, and I'm still here. But I had to come to you today because I had a patient who um, really, really made me happy and smile today because I, you know, first of all, I'm a dentist, so you know I'm all about, hey, girl, I'm all about making sure that you all I'll take care of your mouth and keep the things that I give you clean, right? I think that sounded right. But anyway, so I make sure if you if you happen to have dentures, if you have partials, if you have an appliance, if you have retainers, um, if you have Invisalign, if you have bleaching trays, that's going in your mouth, right? And I definitely want you to keep it clean. And I promise you, I know this guy. I can't tell you his name because that's a HIPAA violation, but he takes such good care of his appliance that I was almost like, are you wearing this? But I know him and I know he wears it because he is just very particular about taking care of himself. So I want to come to you just for a few moments just to encourage you to please keep your appliance clean. Whatever you put in your mouth, okay, is it's getting that same stuff that gets on your teeth. So if your teeth get plaque and bacteria and tartar, and it gets food in between your teeth, guess what? It's going to get on your appliance. And if you just take it out and put it in the container and don't clean it, and that's very, very common, you don't clean it or you don't clean it at all, or you don't clean it well, it's going to get icky. And then guess what? The next day you put it back in. That goes for anything, any appliance, partial, denture, um, bleach tray, retainer. So I'm going to give you an example. So this is a partial. This is a sample partial, and this is, you know, it, it replaces someone's teeth, right? Someone's missing teeth, and you got to keep it clean. So, of course, you're going to, you, you've seen it back in the day, you know, if you grew up like I did, you saw people put their teeth in a cup in the evenings, and it's what it is. I mean, no judgment, it is what it is, but you have to keep it clean. Just put it in, in that cup, it's not going to keep it clean. This is just a toothbrush because... I really couldn't find the brush that we give you guys to clean your stuff. But do not use the same brush that you use to clean your teeth. Dedicate one to your stuff, okay? So when you get it, clean the heck out of it. You will not break it by cleaning it, all right? Chili Will, come see me. Come see me, Chili Will. Yes, you got to make an appointment. So anyway, scrub the milky shit out of it. I curse. I'm not, I'm trying not to curse. So, like, really, really get it in there with some good. Now, honestly, God, you can use some antibacterial soap. If you use the antibacterial soap, use the one that does not have any scent. Ask me how I know. But really, really get it. I mean, scrub it. I mean, get all up in there. And when you scrub it, don't just like, okay, hey, guys, I'm on the phone talking, and I'm cleaning my stuff. Look at that thing. I mean, look and see what's coming out of it, okay? If you have a night guard, this is a night guard. It's clear, right? You can see straight through it. It's supposed to stay that way. You know, only if you grind your teeth will I allow it to get grungy because your grinding is going to get rough on the outside. I'm fine with that. But on the inside where your teeth are, I want this to be sparkly clean. Get this brush. You can get a throwaway brush and scrub it. Like, really get it clean. I know it sounds like, oh, dog, everybody cleans their stuff. Child, please, if you knew what I knew, they do not. This is a sleep appliance for sleep apnea. Top and bottom. Okay, now this actually has, like, little metallic, like, screws. There's metal in there. You got to get up in there. You know how you clean your personals? You got to get up in there. Yes, I said that. You know, my daddy was an OBGYN, and that's how he spoke, and that's how I grew up. He told us to clean our personals. 
if you clean your personals, clean this too, all right? So understand, this can smell just like your breath can smell in the morning, right? Because that bacteria is on here. Sometimes stuff is, stuff is in here is so much plaque because you all never clean it. And you bring it to me like, hey, Doc, here's my stuff. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? It's been there for 15 years and I'm not going to clean it. You clean it. So if you clean your stuff every single day, it will not build up, okay? That's all I got for you. Somebody needed to hear that aside from me, all right? So get a, a throwaway brush. Um, the ones we give you um, at the office when you get your appliance or your retainer or whatever is an actual a denture brush when you get to clean your dentures. Um, but you can get any one you want as long as it's not the same one that you use to clean your teeth. This is not going in your mouth, all right? So if you have any questions, please put them down below. If you have any comments, put them down below. Uh, you can always call us at 404-761-1659. As you can see, Thursdays are our late days. So if you happen to work late and want to come holler at us on a Thursday, get it in. I'm not going to talk about it in the year right now because y'all are really, really going in on trying to get in at the end of the year. Well, come on through, 404-761-1659. Come see us. I'm Dr. Joy Fremont. If you're here, say hi. What up? I love to talk to you live. Boom, 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 boom. If you're catching the replay, say hey, replay, whatever. Share it. Come holler at us. Have a good night. Please stay safe. And I'm going home. Night, night. Have a good weekend. Oh, and welcome to Atlanta. The ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and my Saras were here for our national convention. I'm about to get it in with my Saras, okay? See y'all later. Have a good weekend. Bye.